Oh, hey there. You snuck up on me. Welcome to Around and About Temecula. I'm your host, Jeff Lawrence. I was just strumming a few bars on this acoustic guitar. It belongs to a good friend of mine. It was his father's. He used to play in a local band, but has recently passed. Mm. The stories this guitar could tell. You know, as humans, our journey will all come to an end at one point. Music, on the other hand, will last forever. It's ageless. I hear there's something new happening around and about Temecula that's all about music. So follow me on a musical journey as we learn more. Well, our little musical journey has led us to the Sunset Park Playground Reopening Ceremony. You know, this park's really unique. Unlike other parks located in Temecula, Sunset Park allows participants to make music. How cool is that? Visitors can play instruments like the grandioso chimes or the metelephones. They can also bang on the kundo, kettle, and goblet drums. Not only will your little musicians have fun making music, but they're gonna have smiles and be laughing as they do. So make it a point to come to Sunset Park and make music, Temecula. Good morning. I am standing here in the middle of the orchestra at Sunset Park in Temecula here in Red Hawk and you can see the kids are having a great time playing these musical instruments. So often today our kids don't get a chance to be exposed to music and the arts and so we have built an entire park just for music and you can see from here they are loving every minute of it. So I'm going to go over there in just a second and we're going to look at a couple of these special instruments so come with me. It's another beautiful day in this neighborhood. I'm Bea Barnett, Community Services Superintendent for the City of Temecula. I've worked for the Temecula almost 13 years now, and this is another fabulous day in our city. The park that you're seeing uh, being played on today is renovated, renewed, and reinvigorated with music. Music feeds our souls. As a cultural arts representative, I know how important the arts are. They matter. They change your life. They can make a career out of what you love. And now here at our parks, they can start their budding musical careers or just have fun to portraying a rock and roll band or uh, envisioning their future. Here they can engage with music at their fingertips. Arts and arts education, music, and children. They go together hand in hand. We're fortunate to have this opportunity today and for further information you can certainly look us up at temeculaca.gov. Come on down and take a trip to Broadway in your own backyard. April is Autism Awareness Month. In celebration, our Human Services Division recently kicked off the month with lighting City Hall up blue. Temecula is extremely involved when it comes to special needs programming and inclusiveness. It's what helps us build a strong community. We strive to provide our special needs population with high quality programs and activities. Why don't we hear more from two of our city officials who are truly passionate about making Temecula a leading city when it comes to inclusive services. Well, hi everybody. My name is Mike Nagar, and uh, I'm currently serving as uh, Mayor Pro Tem for the city of Temecula. I've been on the city council now 18 years and about uh, two years on the planning commission prior to that. I've had the uh, honor of serving as uh, mayor 
uh, on four different occasions. I've lived in Temecula for about 27 years. And uh, it's interesting because uh, just last week I celebrated my 27th wedding anniversary. Uh, I have two children, uh, both of them born uh, here in Temecula. Sienna is 26 years old, got married about a year and a half ago and bought a house here locally in Harveston. And I have a 12 year old son, Liam. And uh, Liam uh, uh, is just the jewel of the family. Liam is autistic. In celebration of Autism uh, Awareness Month, um, the city of Temecula for the sixth uh, straight year has celebrated uh, Light It Up Blue, where we decorate City Hall with a huge uh, uh, puzzle piece shining on the building and uh, making our building glow blue um, to acknowledge uh, all the special needs children in our community and in the region. The reason why we do that is, is, is so many fold. There's not just one reason. Number one is we want to be able to communicate to our population that there is help out there. There are people who love you and care for you and that this city will do what it can to make sure that you are part of this community and no longer in a shadow population. There were all kinds of city events from the Easter egg hunt to the rod run to uh, uh, all kinds of uh, 4th of July activities at the park uh, where, where typical, typically special needs kids cannot attend because of their idiosyncrasies and the maladies, the loud noises, the inability to wait in line. And so automatically, all of those children were, um, were excluded from those events. Not, not overtly, just because there were, they just could not medically participate. So we've changed all that, and we've created a, a fantastic inclusionary atmosphere, and we're not done yet. Good morning, Temecula. Eric Willis, Commissioner of Community Services out here at Ronald Reagan Sports Park. It is Autism Awareness Month, and the city of Temecula wants to make sure you're aware how focused and committed we are to inclusive services. Uh, it's near and dear to our hearts. As a family, uh, it's really important that we take care of all of our own, and certainly we are inclusive in everything that we do. So I have a child who has Down syndrome. His name's Miles. And you may have seen him around town, uh, bald as the day he was born, and, and he just loves it. Uh, he loves everything about life. But the amazing thing that we found is, is not the joy that he gets in special games, but the joy that everybody around him has, especially the volunteers that are participating. The, the lessons that they learn, the joy that they feel, the joy that they see and, and are a part of and how they impact kids and, and amazingly how, how the kids impact them. It is truly, truly something special and a sight to be seen and felt and enjoyed and lived. One of the other inclusive programs here in the city, uh, we have the SKIP program. Uh, what this is, is it's really for kids and parents. Uh, so the parents of, of children with special needs uh, get to bring their, their children to an event once a month that is run uh, by the city. Really well done and it's just an opportunity for the parents and the families to come together, uh, learn certain opportunities that are available to them, uh, let the kids come and interact and play, uh, food is provided. It's just a great event to create a community uh, of sharing. And, and knowledge and it's really impactful for the families. I've enjoyed many of the events and there's just a lot, a lot of great things that come out of it. For more information, always check out our website. We'd love to have you at all of our events and you can find those at temeculaca.gov. Again, that's temeculaca.gov forward slash human services. Good afternoon or as our sister cities from Leitzendam Vorburg would say, Hudemidach. Leitzendam Vorburg is one of two sister cities that are recognized in Temecula. They recently flew in and paid us a visit. Let's pop in and find out more. Hi, my name is James Stewart, affectionately known as Stu. I'm your Temecula City Councilman. Um, I'm here to talk about the sister city program that I've 
and the city council liaison for? What is it? Well, it's basically an exchange of cultural ideas and personnel. Um, just recently, we had the Leichendam Vorberg from the Netherlands here, and they brought five or six of their police department here. And so it was an exchange of techniques and um, uh, how they actually do policing in their, in their country, uh, which was actually very cool for both cultures to actually see how they do what they do from the other side. So as you can see right here, we have a piece of artwork from Holland. At the recent breakfast, we presented them with a piece of art from a local artist named Bonnie Martlin, who created a painting that basically merges our two cities together with our city hall and their main street in uh, Vorburg. So it was very cool. It was absolutely done and they were blown away by the uh, quality of the art that we presented to them. What is the importance of the Sister City program? Well, a really great city brings in other cultures and other experiences to make it a well-rounded society, community, and we're benefiting them by also giving them our experiences here in the United States. And they walk away with uh, such a uh, different understanding of who we are as a people and we do them. So that is the value that it brings to the city of Temecula. Hi, my name is Katrina Thorson. I'm a management aide for the Community Services Department for the city of Temecula. And I have the privilege of working as the sister city liaison for the city of Temecula. The Sister City program was established to foster peace through people and to exchange education and knowledge. And we have two sister cities, one in Dyson, Japan, and the other Leichendam Vorburg in the Netherlands. Recently, we received a visit from a delegation of um, police officers and case managers from our sister city of Leichendam Vorburg. This visit was in honor of the 25th anniversary of the sisterhood of Leichendam Vorburg in the city of Temecula. And we wanted to honor um, this relationship by hosting a celebration breakfast for our uh, delegation held at the Temecula Community Center. We wanted to give them an experience of how our police department functions and also how our city handles issues such as homelessness, juvenile delinquency, and community outreach. The best way that we could do that was offer our delegation tours of our buildings such as City Hall, the Police Department, and the Southwest Detention Center. At City Hall, we took our delegation through each department and introduced them to multiple members of our staff, and we told them how each department is run. In our Finance Department, we have a conference room called the Leichendam Vorburg Room, and this room was named in honor of our Sister City relationship. The Sister City program was established to encourage education, knowledge, and cultural exchanges. If you'd like to know more information, please visit Temecula Sister City Association.org. This month is filled with a host of exciting, fun filled programs and events you won't want to miss. Be sure to mark them down on your calendars. These were just a few of the activities happening this month in Temecula. We encourage you to view the entire lineup of TCSD events at TemeculaCA.gov slash TCSD. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope to see you around and about Temecula. <laughs>